Hello everyone. I welcome you all for another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how you can see pin and remove a particular participant in Google Meet. So without much delay, let us start the video. Firstly, we are going to install an application called Google Meet Attendance to see who are all participating in our meeting. You can find this in Google Chrome. I'll leave a link in the description box for you. You can go and check it out. So this is the application. You can see it. It is called Meet Attendance. Um, that is the symbol. The symbol will be like red apple with a tick on it. There are many other applications available but this is the one which I'm using today. I've already installed it into my system. Otherwise it will be shown like add to the Chrome. But as I've already added, it shows like remove from the Chrome and once you add it, you will be able to see the symbol on the URL box near as an extension created. I'm directly going to the Google Meet page by typing meet.google.com in the URL box. You can also do it. I'll leave the link in the description box for your reference. Kindly check it out. And now I am starting a meeting. So once I start the meeting, I'm going to disable my video as well as my audio by clicking them. And now I am going to join the meeting once i join a meeting link pop-ups which i'm going to copy and forward to my guests i'm sending the link to other mail accounts of mine so that i can create some participants in the meet through that i can show you how you can record the meeting attendance and how you will be able to pin see and remove participants my invite has been sent and now i'm going back to the meeting page on the left bottom you can see the meeting link you can copy it and forward it if you want it and then on the right top corner we can see the apple symbol which means that uh, the meeting is now able to record the attendance of the participants i'm opening my other mail account to join the meet through the link which i sent to my own self you can see the window now i'm going to open the mail and i'm going to click on the link and ask for join I'm now going to show you how it will be for you to receive a participant into the meeting. I'm going to show you the participant window as well as the host window. When I open the participant window, I'm going to give permission for the microphone as well as the audio and I'm going to keep them mute and ask for joining. Once I ask for joining, you can see on the host window, a notification pop-ups, which means that a particular person is asking for joining. And you can see on the participant window, it shows that you are asking for joining. On the host window, we can either permit the person to join or we can deny permission. I'm admitting it. I'm giving permission and the person is now admitted. Now we can see we have two participants here on the people. If you click it, you, you will be able to see the participants. So I have myself as well as the other participant that is also myself only. And now we'll see how you can pin a particular person. What happens when you pin a person is the person you pin will be shown on the screen. That is we call pinning. You can do it by clicking on the icon. Now see I have uh, pinned my own self by clicking on it. A pin mark appears on it. See when I pin the other person and that person's icon displays on the center of the video. So this is how you actually pin a person. I can change it if I pin myself back the icon changes this is how you pin this will be easy for the participants to see the speaker and that is the purpose of pinning actually so that everyone will be able to see the one who is speaking it will be really useful when the teacher is speaking because all the students will be able to see the teacher's face and now I'm going to open my another mail account to join as a third participant and I'm asking for joining I'm going to give permissions for the microphone as well as for the camera once again and I'm going to keep them on mute and again request for joining and I'll once again show you how it will be for joining now see once I ask for joining notification comes on the host window I'm going to admit now another person is admitted 
and now we have three people in our meeting myself and other two accounts of mine you can see all the microphones are muted now I'll show you how you can mute a person that is mute a participant when you click on the edge of the participant box you can see three options on the middle option is the microphone you can see the participant he himself or she himself has muted it now we should know one thing a host cannot unmute a particular participant but they can only mute now I'm showing you with another participant see when I click on the participant three options appears when I pin it the particular participant gets pinned and their face or their icon appear on the center of the screen when I go back when I release the pin and the pin goes off and other participant will also be seen in the screen and when I go and mute when I click on the mute that person goes mute and a notification appears on the screen stating that a particular person is being muted this appears because by mistake we may sometimes mute a participant to prevent that meeting gives you this notification even after that if you want to meet a person you can click on the mute and I'm going to show you on the other screen how it will be on the screen of the participant when they get muted now see I'm muting and the person gets muted you can see that their mic is muted and I cannot release the mute now because I can only mute but I cannot unmute but if the participant wants they can unmute themselves now I'll show you how they can do that see the participant unmutes himself and the mute is also gone so this is the problem with Google Meet though the host mutes the participants if the participants thinks they can unmute themselves this creates a lot of problem and noise and I'm going to show you how you can remove a participant on the last option it says remove it also shows that if you want you can remove that person if I give remove then that participant will be removed from the meeting now see I've removed and the participant goes from 3 to 2 and on the participant window it is shown like someone has removed you from the meeting so now the participant is no longer in the meeting but this is not that participant is permanently removed if the participant wants they can again rejoin by clicking on the same link which we sent earlier now I'll show you how you can do that now see I'm going back to the link and I'm clicking on it and I'm again going to give all the permissions the microphone and the video and then I'm going to request for joining now we can see how it will be in the host window now see the person I removed is again asking for permission to admit it now I can admit and again that person can become a part of that meeting so here the remove symbol is not a permanent removal it is just a temporary removal only the participant wants they can again rejoin into the meeting this will also be useful because sometimes you may want all the participants to be present when you are giving an important uh, instructions finally we are going to see how you can take the meeting attendance for this you have to go to the icon people click on it and you will be able to see a box with a tick on it you have to click on this box before you start the meeting or once you start accepting participants when you click it you will be able to see four different options and I'm inserting an image uh, which gives you the explanation of those four options the first option is a new sheet another one is a new spreadsheet and you have two options like on or off you have to make sure that those two options are in green which means that the meeting is now being taking attendance by that application we have installed I am clicking on the box symbol in my document which takes me to a spreadsheet now you can see it is a Google spreadsheet which shows the meeting link the timings of the meeting and also the participants of the meeting it shows three different participants all the three participants are mine so that uh, there is no difference in the name but when you actually accept many participants you'll be able to see all their names and when you go to the top of the sheet you'll be able to see the heading meeting attendance the date and also the time of the meeting you can see that is you can uh, verify each meeting with the timing of the meeting 
so it avoid confusion between one meeting to another meeting you may wonder where this information gets stored this is actually automatically stored to your google drive account to verify that open your gmail account and go to google drive and you will be able to see a spreadsheet created in the name meeting attendance here you can see that if you open it you will be able to see the spreadsheet which i showed you previously this is how you take attendance in a google meet that's all for now i hope you all like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to my youtube channel and i really thank you all for watching good day